muslins were giving out leaflets and uh, they were giving out leaflets and apparently they, they were actually giving out leaflets to do jihadism and it just makes me wonder the government needs to clamp down harder on jihadists you know there's 20,000 on the street they should be arrested and they shouldn't be put in prison they should be put in military encampments because when they get to prison they recruit people so the government has to get much harder on this issue we have to realize we're at war and treat these people at war you wouldn't allow 20,000 soldiers on your streets walking free so why allow 20,000 jihadists it's crazy so we need to clamp hard on that the other thing I just want to say something about Tommy Robinson I like Tommy Robinson myself uh, I really like him personally I don't think he's a racist uh, I, I like the guy but I don't think the future is in I think God is using that Tommy Robinson and using his group and, 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 and the right to shake things up in the West, to shake things up in, in the UK. But I think that that if there ever was some kind of issue in in the nation, there ever was a a um, there ever was a civil war or something. I don't, I don't think that it would go well because, <laughs> because I think that um, the right wing has not got a Christian foundation, and it will end up becoming tyrannical, just as bad as Islam coming into control. To be honest, there has to be a Christian reformation within the, on the right. Tommy Robinson and his group need to come back to the Bible and to the Word of God because if they don't then whatever they try to achieve it will come to nothing so much as I like the guy and uh, so much as I have many sympathies with his group it won't come to anything bec unless it's grounded in the Word of God it's got to be grounded in the Bible and in Christian teaching Christian uh, Christian theology and Christian teaching and then it, it will have some foundation intellectual foundation and, and and also will be a protection against another form of fascism or another form of uh, of taking people's freedom away you know so without that Christian foundation Tommy you need to get back to the Bible bro uh, otherwise your movement's not going to come to anything I think um, so yeah so these are the last moments of the walk uh, so we, yeah we've had quite a few conversations haven't we um, nothing more to, to talk about really um, I just wanted you to see this walk that you might see where I, I come and walk and meditate very often. It's very quiet. Where am I at the moment? I think spiritually uh, God's really working in me and I, uh, I'm beginning to know more and more peace and joy in my life. Um, God's surrounding me with some good people, some good friends and uh, God seems to be providing for me. And, um, I keep thinking of those words, there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ. Oh, there's a squirrel. I don't know if I can get it. So 
Uh, right, mate. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, I can't. He's gone. <laughs> can't see him. He's run off. Sorry about. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's run off into the bush. Need to get back because I'm going to be late. Um, I did Sunday school this Sunday for the little kiddies. Uh, the ladies asked me to do the Sunday school. So I enjoyed doing that. And uh, I talked about the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit. And they got a lot of chocolate, so that was good. So, um, yeah, I just love this place. I just love it. It's one of my favourite places. It's quiet. Very few people come. So we're near the end of the video, I just want to say my final verse in the Bible is um, There's no greater love than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Um, so life is short and uh, let's pray that God will give us more love and let's just keep loving one another and being there for one another and uh, if you've go around the world if you achieve many many things but have not love you're nothing so let's keep loving let's keep caring for one another and uh, look at that, I just love that. I just absolutely love it. This is the end of the walk now. So, I'm going to turn the camera off in a second. Don't forget my website, jasonburstpreacher.com. Facebook has some really good Bible teaching. I put various preachers, teachers on there. There's a few videos I put on today by Joe Beakey and a book by uh, Donnelly on Heaven and Hell. Uh, by Amazon you can uh, link to it uh, so Facebook you get ma a, mainly a lot of Bible teaching I uh, put stuff for leaders as well church leaders, pastors, evangelists I put lectures and talks by other preachers theologians for people on Twitter it's more for young people there's a lot of stuff there apologetic material uh, I might make a few comments every now and again and on my, face, on my website you've got tons of brilliant stuff, like load, about 100 pages of different preachers, books you can download. And uh, YouTube channel, you, basically it's my preaching and teaching and evangelism, uh, street preaching and everything. So that's jessinburnspreacher.com and that stuff. And then you have the Royal Blood Ministries, there's a website for that. And there's... Um, uh, a YouTube channel for that and a Twitter but I don't I, I'm not doing much activity at the moment on those so but for, from time to time I will do so but it's all good stuff it'll, all, it'll build you up strengthen you help you encourage you uh, that's what it's all about I'm trying to encourage you trying to show you what Christianity is trying to introduce you to good material I won't put anything that's not good that's not edifying, that's not, that will, be, that, you know. If you come into my world, my Bible teaching, my YouTube channel, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, website, you'll, you'll be in a world where it's good material standing up for the truth. And you'll be built up in your faith, or you'll learn about Christianity. So now, we come to the end, and we're coming to where we started today. 
so it's more than 20 minutes walk more than 20 minutes but we come to the end now hope you enjoyed the walk and the meditation I just wanted to share my heart what was on my heart and, and just let you come on my journey but this is a, a very private place where I come and, and just relax every now and again uh, if I just need to take a chill pill There we are. Uh, we started there, if you remember. Keep in the Word of God. The Word of God will feed you. The Word of God will strengthen you. The Word of God will bless you. Psalm 119. The Word is a lamp to my feet. Keep in the Word of God, folks. Keep strong. Keep going. Keep serving. Keep preaching. Keep going. God's not finished with you yet, God's not finished with us yet, we've got a lot to do, we're in a battle, so keep going, we're back to where we came, keep going, keep serving, keep preaching, keep doing the Lord's work, do the work of an evangelist, keep proclaiming, keep serving, keep going, don't give up, Joshua chapter 1, be of good courage, okay, you keep going, and you don't give up, and keep serving, no matter who pulls you down, no matter who discourages you, get back up and keep going. Alright, keep going. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about the glory of God and the lost. People are dying and perishing without a saviour. And we are God's army to get people to be saved. To bring salvation and hope to people. And so it doesn't matter what wounds you receive in the battle. Doesn't matter how many times they pull you down. Doesn't matter how many times they criticize you. You've got to get up and you've got to keep going. And you don't give up and you don't give in. You don't pack it in. God's sovereign is in control and you keep going. You keep battling. You keep serving. And when you want to throw in the towel, get up again. When you feel it's pointless, get up. When you feel it's not worth doing, get up. And keep preaching, keep serving, keep being, uh, uh, doing what God has called you to do, whatever it is. Don't let no man, no woman, nobody pull you down. Keep fighting, keep serving. Press in. Get deeper into prayer, get deeper into the Word of God. And let's get doing this, folks. We've got a job to do. God called you at this time. For such a time as this now dig in we're in a war and in a war you've got to prepare yourself so dig into the word dig into the bible dig into prayer dig into the great classic read the puritans go and listen to sermon audio and to good good bible teaching and sermon index go to dr martin lloyd jones recording trust dig deep prayer word fight do not abandon the faith. Do not pull back. Do not go back. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against demons and principalities. So keep fighting. Keep serving. Keep going. No matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult it is. Because it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about God's glory. And it's about the lost. Tomorrow you might meet someone and they die and they're lost forever. That person you meet tomorrow might need to hear the gospel. So tell them. Share the truth. Keep fighting. Keep serving. we we'll come to the end now. Keep going. God bless you. And if you ever need me, you can get me on my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. I don't care how discouraged you are, God's with you, He loves you, He stands with you. Wipe away that tear. Wipe away. I know it hurts. I know whatever hurts you're going through, it's painful, it's hard, and you feel like packing it in. You feel like you've been abandoned, but guess what?
Jesus is with you. He's not abandoned you. And he will give you strength. Now fight. Get in that word. Get in that Bible. Get into prayer. Press in and battle for the Lord. God bless you.